Welcome to this session on radiator pressure test. After completing the session, you will be able to demonstrate radiator cap inspection for holding pressure. Demonstrate cooling system leak testing. The radiator pressure test consists of 1. Radiator cap inspection for holding pressure 2. Cooling system leak testing First let us prepare a checklist for the diagnostic test. First we need to do a visual inspection of the radiator core for any leaks or wear. Next the pressure cap testing using the tester and finally the cooling system leak testing. Refer to the service manual of the manufacturer for the prescribed test range and limits. Remember to follow the rules, care and caution as instructed by your trainer while performing the test during workshop practice. The tools and equipment required for the test Radiator pressure test kit Gauge pump with dial for pressure reading and a pressure release valve Radiator cap adapter two numbers one small and the other big Hose adapter with couplings Barrel Let us first carry out the visual inspection of the radiator core for any leaks or wear. Refer to the service manual of the manufacturer and locate the radiator core area in the vehicle. It is usually present in the bonnet compartment for most manufacturers. Before pressure testing the system, visually inspect the radiator core in the vehicle for any wear or leaks in the coolant reservoir. Coolant and heater hose, radiator hose and clips, radiator cap and seals, check for any coolant liquid dripping down from the vehicle. The visual inspection for the radiator core is performed and is found to be okay. Step 1. Refer to the service manual provided by the manufacturer and locate the radiator pressure cap in the radiator core area of the vehicle. Step 2. Turn the cap in anti-clockwise direction and remove the cap. Caution. Always allow the coolant system to cool before removing the radiator cap, as the coolant may be hot enough to scald. Step 3. Note the holding pressure limit mentioned on the cap. This is manufacturer specific. In this case, it is 0.9 bar. Step 4. Keep aside the cap on the tool tray. to assemble radiator pressure tester in this kit for the test. Gauge pump with dial for pressure reading and a pressure release valve. Radiator cap adapter, two numbers, one small and the other big. Hose adapter with couplings. 
barrel. Let us now see the step by step procedure to assemble the radiator pressure test. Step 1. Connect the gauge pump to the hose adapter. Connect the gauge pump to one end of the hose adapter. Tighten the coupling and keep the hose pump assembly aside. Step 2. Fix the radiator cap of the vehicle to the barrel. Fix the radiator cap of the vehicle to the smaller end of the barrel. Turn it clockwise and lock it to the barrel. Step 3. Connect the radiator cap adapter to the broad end of the barrel. Fix the appropriate large size in this case radiator cap adapter. Tighten the coupling over the radiator cap adapter. Step 4. Connect the barrel assembly to the hose pump assembly. Connect the free end of the hose adapter to the radiator cap adapter end of the barrel. Tighten the coupling on the hose adapter. Step 5. Check for any air leak in the assembly. Using the hand pump of the assembly, pump air into the assembly. Check for drop in pressure which is indicated by the leakage sound or deflection on the pressure gauge dial. Tighten the couplings in the hose adapter to fix any air leak. The radiator pressure tester is assembled and ready for use. Let us see the step-by-step -step procedure for radiator cap inspection using the radiator pressure tester. Step 1. Note the holding pressure mentioned on the radiator cap of the vehicle. Step 2. Pump air into the assembly to check the pressure limit. Step 3. Check the reading on the gauge dial. The reading should be the limit mentioned on the radiator pressure cap. In this case, it is 0.9 bar. If the pressure reading on the dial is less than the pressure limit mentioned on the cap, then engine overheating problem can occur. More than the pressure limit mentioned on the cap, then cooling system leak can occur. In the next part of the radiator pressure check, the cooling system check using the same radiator pressure tester. Step 1. Refer to the service manual of the manufacturer and note the holding pressure for cooling system. In this case, it is 1 bar. Step 2. Detach the pump and the barrel from the hose adapter. Step 3. Attach the appropriate radiator cap adapter to the radiator in the vehicle. Step 4. Fit the detached hose adapter to the radiator cap adapter by turning the coupling in a clockwise direction. Step 5. Check and fix any air leaks by tightening the coupling of the hose adapter. Step 6. Pressurize the cooling system by pumping air. Apply pressure until range limit prescribed by the manufacturer is achieved. In this case, it is 1 bar. Caution. Do not exceed the manufacturer prescribed limit as it could lead to damage in the cooling system. Step 7. Hold the pressure in the pump for a few seconds. 
Step 8. Check for any pressure drop below the prescribed limit. If the pressure drops below the prescribed limit, there is an internal leakage in the cooling system which needs to be rectified. In this case, there is no pressure drop, so the system is okay. Step 9. Release the pressure completely by pressing the pressure release valve on the pump. We have completed the test and the results were found OK. Let us now disassemble the tester and fit the radiator cap back in the vehicle. Step 1. Unscrew the coupling on the hose adapter and detach the pump. Step 2. Unscrew the coupling from the other end of the hose adapter and detach the hose adapter. Caution. Coolant may spill out from the radiator cap adapter. Step 3. Check for drop in coolant level in the reservoir. Step 4. Refer to the service manual and top up with an appropriate grade of coolant up to maximum level indicated. Step 5. Fit the radiator cap on the vehicle back in its position. Step 6. Place the radiator pressure tester components back in its slots in the kit. Step 7. Start the engine and keep it running for 5 minutes. Step 8. Stop the engine and check for coolant level in the reservoir and top it if required. This completes the radiator pressure test. Let us summarize what we have learnt. The radiator pressure test is done using the radiator pressure tester. The radiator pressure test consists of 1. Radiator cap inspection for holding pressure 2. Cooling system leak testing 